Hey, what's up guys? Tom Davey here from the Grab Lean Cab. And I'm here again with Reese, and we're gonna have a look today at an awesome position I love. I really feel it's been ignored in this whole world of leg locks, and that's uh, like reverse uh, leg attacks, or I guess a reverse ashigarami position, as we'd say in our gym here. Um, you're gonna love it. Let's freaking have a look. Hey guys, reverse ashigarami. Everyone loves heel hooks these days. People love toe holds and knee bars, not when they're getting done to you, of course, but uh, we know that they're very powerful attacks, in particular heel hooks, and as we learn about inside and outside and straight ashigarami attacks, uh, the leg locks, if you want to be a high-class grappler and you don't know leg locks, you're basically a sitting duck waiting to get annihilated by a blue belt who knows how to do heel hooks. So let's have a look at a position that people aren't aware of. Okay, understand that if I've got my partner here, my ability to get into a dominant position on Reese, if you're just on your back, my ability to attack Reese's legs is directly proportionate at a high level to my ability to immobilize him in some form of ashigarami, Japanese for leg entanglement more or less. So if I could get an inside ashi like this with the far leg controlled, it would not be unreasonable at all to expect me to be able to finish Reese in this position, okay? Just as anyone can finish me from that position. But of course, people learn the basic ashigarami positions. So, to demonstrate them, we learn the straight ashigarami, okay? Or normal ashigarami, or in my academy, we just call it ashigarami. We then learn outside ashigarami, and it's 50-50 counterpart as well, okay? Of course, inside ashigarami, I just demonstrated, but, just in case you missed it here, okay? So these are more common and it's becoming harder and harder to get into these positions because people know that this means kind of death, right? So we're gonna have a look at one that's quite easy to get into. And it's probably one you may have found yourself in before, but if you're not using it to attack the legs, then you're not really living, are you? So let's have a look. So anytime I have got someone from this position, and he might be doing a, uh, like a wrapping around my leg here, doesn't matter where we, how we get here. But we always know we can step around. But what a lot of people don't recognize is this position. Where I am sitting atop my opponent, okay? Both his legs are pulled in. He will normally, you can grab around my waist or something, Reese is fine. They will normally grab around some part of your body in an attempt to get your back. I would call this position reverse ashigarami. Uh, that's the way I was taught it, so that's the way I teach it now. My right leg cuts in as a hamstring curl. My left leg cuts in as a hamstring curl and forms a post, which opposes my right hand post. Otherwise, you'll find strong guys can roll you off. And then I clamp my knee in, because of course, I want to control this leg. Now, upon getting to this position, and I'll show you a few ways to get here, he will immediately worry, usually, about a leg bar. If he does not, just stay there for a second, Reese. I will simply collect that leg and fall back here for my leg bar. But after being leg barred once, that will stop to becoming an easy option for him. So he will triangle off that leg. That's actually what I look for. I predict that. If guys don't do that, then they're not really... Uh, understanding her leg bars very well. So watch what I do with my right hand. I take a little step, I put my knee on the ground, okay? I keep a firm control of his leg, and now my right hand is going to be removed from the mat. And watch where it goes, straight under his right foot, here. From this position, you've got a wonderful triangle leg cut, which can be locked off. Now from here, I give him a bad decision. The, I like toe holds myself. I, I, I like them. I think they're more dangerous than heel hooks have applied well. We have a toe hold here. Okay? Move right to the toes. Uh, just don't, you know, put too much leg in. Try to minimize the amount of opponent you have here. And now I'll be taking this to his butt and pulling at the heel as I extend my heel. Be very careful with toe holds. I believe they're far more dangerous than heel hooks. Controversial, but very true, I believe. So, if he doesn't want to be toe held, it's okay, he has an easy defense, okay? He can use his other foot, and he kicks my hand off. 
However, one, two, three, and grab the leg bar. If he wants to stop this leg bar, which is not too hard to do during the early stages of back position before I get here, he will clamp his hamstring down and lock his other leg over it, giving me access to my toe hold. Of course, he can kick out. One, two, three, but he could kick that back and lock. And now, once he's locked it off, one, two, and apply. So you see, he only has bad decisions to make. Now, how do we get into these positions? That's a good question. Well, we have a look at this scenario here. He might put me in a half guard now, for instance, right? And I can go forwards, back, sit on him, control his legs, and now be out with my feet and hand as posts. He will protect his leg because he fears the leg bar. Go put triangle on the other side for me, that's it. And now my right hand is gonna go to his right foot. And I try and lock tight, very tight. Don't allow any rotation from here. Instantly go for the toe hold. You may wanna go for the leg bar first if you wish, but I prefer the toe hold first. He will kick out if he doesn't wanna tap. One, two, three. If he wants to get this back, he has to lock it off with something to avoid me attacking it. And when he does, he's brought his other foot in. If he wants to extend it away and kick out with the other leg, well, of course, then we're back to this position, okay? However, I am fond of the old heel hook. In fact, it was the first submission that I really pulled off against a grown adult as, as a young uh, person exploring grappling and it's been a special place in my heart ever since. So, considering that, I will show you my two favorite entrances to the heels from that position. Because you don't have to, that's IBJJF legal, guys. You can do that in the gi. But, from brown belt up. But if you want cool heel hooks, there's a couple that I do. I'll just show you my two favorites. So, I might be in side control on roofs. Here, like this, and I'm minding my own business, maybe looking to mount something like that. Sometimes I'll feel that, you know, I don't have enough time to attack him. Or he's so worried about mount and stuff like that, that I don't feel I'm gonna have time to get to my good positions that will let me get to my submissions. His upper body feels quite secure. I can simply put my own leg in and collect his legs and move into the same position. When he triangles his leg off, I command, I roll, and I attack. However, I promise heel hooks. So if I want heel hooks, what am I gonna do? I really like this heel hook attack. I'm gonna show you both of my ways. I, I rotate to the left and to the right to keep my system very simple. I either rotate around to my left or to my right. And normally, actually, which way I go dictates either my favorite heel hook, if you like inside or outside heel hooks the best, but it really depends on what he's doing to me. So, let's have a look at the outside heel hook first, which I think is a fantastic attack, and it does solve a little problem here. So, if I ever feel that his legs aren't tightly crossed over like this, okay? So maybe they're like this, okay? Watch what I can do, even if they were just lightly crossed. Just as long as there's room for me to insert my torso, I'm going to start turning the corner. So, I hold his calf really tight, I kick my knee through, and now I take my armpit to the toes, pulling at the calf, set my fulcrum, get my outside lock, and I'm ready to go right here. I'm holding my weight up on my elbow kind of awkwardly, but once I set this fulcrum and extend, there's nothing in it. Just be careful, like then, I had to hold my own weight up. It can be a bit dangerous, but it's a very fun attack. I really like this one because if he's trying to cross his feet, I like to get my body in, but like move my butt. See how I break his grip with my butt? Now I lock my feet off and find my heel, okay? So that would be an outside heel attack. We can also have a look at an inside heel attack. So anytime I'm in this position, okay? Feel free to triangle off your legs, guys, but I always use my left hand to hold that leg, so I don't see a need for it. Sometimes he holds his legs shut. And if I try to just rotate here, he might take my back or something. So I don't want that. So I can go the other way too. So now everything is in reverse. 
So I wanted to get my knee through. Now I'm trying to hold him and get my knee out. I pull his legs to me, I triangle off, and now I'm gonna secure this leg here. Now, some guys like to crank this. I don't think it's very good. So I'll snake my right arm under to hold right at the ankle. Now I move my head, armpit to the toes, get my lock, set my fulcrum. That one will be done quite quick. Again, armpit to the toes, come under the heel, set my fulcrum, and then just millimeters, guys, <laughs> millimeters, all right? Don't worry about rotating, focus on more of a bridge, taking the toes down towards the butt, okay? So, from reverse Ashigarami, this position, you guys know now that we've got two heel hooks, inside heel hook, outside a heel hook, okay? And we have the toe hold and the leg bar, all from this position, but it's easy to get here, guys. So I encourage you to try it out for yourself. Reverse Ashi Garami or the reverse, reverse leg entanglement position, whatever you prefer. Play around, find which of those four attacks is your favorite, okay? I use both, IBJJF toe hold and leg bar for my gi and uh, no gi IBJJF comps and any other comps I get to attack people's heel as well, I'm happy to do that too. So there you go guys, one position, four cool submissions. I hope you enjoy it, take care.